my average is like right around 3000. So like that 2800. That's amazing. Something. You've it's almost great. tripled your sales average in two months. And just obviously I've had way more bookings in every month. Hey guys, Jen Bruno Smith here. I am here with Tyler Austin from Amour Boudoir in Seattle. Thank you so much for joining us. He is one of our students in our mastermind course and just killing it. So I'm so excited to talk with you today. Thanks. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So tell me about where you were before you joined the course. What were you doing before? Were you shooting full time? Were you working? What were you doing? Yeah, so for the last, uh, I've been full-time uh, for the last almost seven years now, um, and I shoot um, only about seven to ten weddings a year, and I do really well with high school seniors. I probably shoot 60 to 70 high school seniors a year, and that's mostly just in that summertime. Um, and then other than that, you know, families are kind of sprinkled throughout the year, and same with boudoir is kind of scattered throughout the year, but it's, it was never as much as seniors. So the last, you know, years I've just been doing really well with high school seniors, but that only has got me to a certain level that I haven't really been able to break out of. Yeah. So, so at what point, what made you jump and take the leap of faith into joining us with the mastermind? Yeah, so it was um, it was a little bit slower summer, and I'm always kind of looking at my numbers, and I was a little bit behind uh, from last year, and so I knew I either had to really push it with like families since seniors are done by now, um, so I either really push hard in families or do something else, and I was even thinking about just picking up like some part time work or like even a full time job just through the winter, and. Um, I actually got a job offer for like $37,000 for the year and something in me just clicked. And I was like, what am I doing wasting my time with that when I could just literally be focusing on, you know, photography. And that was right about the time when um, the course kind of came up and everything just made sense. And I just had a really good kind of gut feeling about it. And uh, the videos I saw kind of made sense. And so, um, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to make more than that offer would have been. I'm like, I'm going to make more than that in the next three months. Yeah. Um, so that's just something I just knew that it was something, uh, everything I've seen in the course and even heard about some other friends that have been in it. Um, I just knew that this could probably be the thing that would get me to that next level that I've been after for so many years. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that you were so experienced before and your work is killer. Like you have amazing work. Not just with boudoir, but like your senior work, your family, it's really good. Um, so what was your sales average before you started the course? So with boudoir, uh, my sales average is right about $1,200. Okay. And then since you've been in the course, what's your sales average now? So since, and I've only been in the course for like, today's the... 18th. So really yeah, like two, December, and, two, yeah. yeah, two and a half months, which is amazing. <laughs> and, um, it's already the, my average, I've had some good and some bad. Um, my average is like right around 3000. So like that 2800, 2800. That's amazing. So You've almost great. tripled your sales average in two months. And just obviously I've had way more bookings in every month since I've, um, the first month I, you know, I put a lot of time into like putting the right systems in place and make it the changes that I knew I needed to do. And then um, last month and only halfway through this month, all everything just started clicking and I started getting way more people in the seats than I ever had in the past. So, and it's been great. I love that. Let's talk numbers. So since you started the course, how many clients have you booked since you started the course? I've probably shot... Um, it'd be really like last month and this month, I probably only shot like 10 or 11, but those sales averages have been so good that it's been great. That's uh, wonderful. And then before you were in the course, how many were you shooting a month? Well, I mean, winter time, everyone always says winter time is great. Winter time was like my down, my slower time. Yeah. So, you know, I might've had one or two, um, if that. And so that's why I'd always push hard on families. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I, I never like running, you know, like sales and flash sales because I just didn't like it. So I would just kind of wait 
Um, luckily, you know, the, my organic uh, Google traffic was okay enough where I was still kind of getting stuff, but that was it. Right. So, so year to date, or I guess, cause we're almost at the end of this year. What do you think your year end revenue will be compared to last year? So I looked it up and I was just like, so excited. So um, the end of September, when I like knew that I was behind, I was at just over 69,000. Yeah. Um, and since I, so I say October 1st till now, so like two and a half months, yeah. um, I've made just over 48,000. So, so you've already made in two and a half months what you made the entire year before. And so I'm right now I'm grossed at 113 for the year, which this is, is your best our, year, right? which is my best year I've ever had. That's and amazing. I still have um, people that need to book sessions. So, I mean, those session fees add up fast. Yeah. And the fact that I'm already, I think I have like six people booked in January and a whole just list of people that I know I need to like continue to follow up with and fill up January. So um, I feel like I've like, the funny thing is I've always had like this, a whole bunch of like boudoir photographer friends that I knew that I looked up to that I knew were just crushing it. And then when I joined the course, everyone's in here. And I was a little annoyed because I'm like, <laughs> you're going to like tell me this big secret that this is like what you guys have been doing this whole time. Like, so it's the cool kids club. It's the, you know what? I'm a successful photographer club That's and right. yeah, I can make a living. One of our students said the other day, um, they used to raise horses and her dad used to always say that you need to surround yourself with thoroughbreds. And that's really what I like to think our course is, surrounding Absolutely. yourself. Because whenever you surround yourself with people that are as successful or more successful than you, it lifts you up. And, you know, instead of, there's so many groups out there where people will ask a question and everyone else is struggling. And so they're all like giving bad, adv giving bad advice, right? But the Absolutely. thing about the mastermind is when you ask a question, everyone's successful. So you get actually like good advice that makes sense. Yes. And there's so many things about, you know, your, the sales and IPS and just your packages. There's so many things that come down to like your confidence and believing in yourself and what you're selling. And so like, you know, like daily, you know, people are kind of posting like great sales they've had. And, and it's just kind of like, it keep, keeps putting in your head of like, it's possible. Like yeah. they can do it. I can do it. And so I remember I, the first thing I, th I thought when it happened was like, I need to tell Jen about this, but you heard like, it was like two days ago, I had like that $8,000 sale, that top package, because I had seen people posting like sold a top package. And, and I told my friend the other day, I was like, I'm going to sell that sometime. I said next year, I go sometime next year. Yeah. I'm gonna sell it. And the fact that it already happened, I'm like, Oh my God, like this, this, like it's so possible. And after that, everything else just is gets e easier because you believe in it because yeah. it works. Yeah. Once you do it, once, it's so much easier to know that you can do it again. So, Absolutely. So I also wanted to ask you, because I hear a lot of male photographers that want to get into boudoir, but they are nervous about it, or they think that the course won't work for them because they're a male. What are your thoughts on that, being a male and probably like a female-dominated niche, I guess? Yeah, I mean, for starters, the course itself, it doesn't matter if you're a, a male or female. Like, I'm excited to even now that I have this knowledge and all this, the tools and the blueprint, I'm excited next year to also like apply it to all my high school seniors and everything wow. else. Um, so, it, but from the boudoir side, it really doesn't matter if you're male or female, it's a blueprint and there's things that you have to do and there's systems you have to have in place to get bookings and to make it work. Um, whether, yeah, you just have to do, if you look at the successful people, they're doing certain things and you just have to do those. And if you're, I, it's natural for people to maybe jump into the course and then pick and choose certain things or, you know, tweak them to make them more them. Um, that was one of the things when I invested in this, because for me, it definitely was an investment, especially yeah. already being behind on the year. Yeah. I was like, if I'm going to do this. I'm going to literally just follow exactly to a T because, and it made it easier because I didn't have to worry about anything and it made it quicker because 
I didn't have to, yeah, think or put as much thought into it. I was just like, if I just do exactly what they say and then it should work. And, um, that's the and thing. It has. Yeah. So yeah, there's, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I hear a lot of guys that may be struggling, but like you said, it's, um, I don't think it's, it has to do with that as much. I think it's just, they're not doing everything that they could be doing. Yeah. That's so true. Um, thank you so much for your time today. I'm so happy that you're in the course. Whenever um, you said that you were going to join, I was so excited because you have such good work. And that's always a foundation. You know, if someone has good work and they're ready to learn and they're open to the change, then you see the benefits so much faster. So I'm so happy. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see you continue to grow in 2020. Um, you're easily going to hit like 200, 250 next year. It's going to be your best year yet. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks again. All right. Thanks, Jen.